Hi, this is Marie and I'm back again today with another video. So I've talked about it in the past, I even made a whole video on it, of how I don't like having cerebral palsy and how I wish I didn't have it. Um, and that hasn't changed. Um, you know, I still think of cerebral palsy as a challenge and it's still something that I wish I didn't have. Um, However, having said that, I do think there are certain things, certain attributes, experiences, values um, that I've gained from having cerebral palsy. And I just kind of wanted to highlight and address those in this video um, because I do think it's, it's something good to look at. Um, and so I put together a list. It's in no way in any order. Uh, it's just whatever I can think of off the top of my head. Um, uh, but with respect to the first one that I'll put out there, uh, I think this is, the first one is probably the, the, the greatest thing I've gained from having cerebral palsy, uh, which number one <laughs> would be that I've been able to see a lot more good in the world. Um, whether it's from, especially from strangers, friends, family, you know, um, just people helping you. Um, it's, I remember um, one of my first weeks of college, I was at a football game, and I was having trouble on the bleachers, um, walking, walking back off the, off the field, off the bleachers, um, and I was kind of having a difficult time and someone, someone just grabbed my, my elbow and made sure I was balanced um, and helped me along the way. And um, that brief moment of interaction um, really just made my day and um, really has, has been a highlight, I guess, in my college experience and maybe I would go as far as to say in my life. Um, so I guess I'll move on to number two, which the, I think having cerebral palsy has made me um, more quick on my feet, um, more innovative, um, ready on the spot. Um, because if there's something I can't do, if something goes wrong, you know, um, for my safety, I kind of have to figure out, do I want to go this way or do I want to go that way? Um, so it's, it's, it's made me more, more innovative, more creative, um, yeah, that's, that's actually pretty nice, more adapti adaptive, um, number, number three, I guess, uh, it's made me more open and accepting, um, to people, um, it's allowed me to meet a lot more friends, um, that, I think the thing with friends is that most people would would kind of push these people to the side and say, oh no, we're not going to be friends with them. Um, but honestly, I think, you know, um, having been where I am, you know, people can just as easily push me to the side and say, oh, I'm not going to be friends with you, um, you're different or whatever. And so I think I've, I've been able to, to get to know a lot more people um, because I'm, I'm a bit more accepting and, uh, you know, I realized that it could happen to me too. Um, so number four, um, what be is, I think I'm a lot more, more patient um, with people. Um, and I don't know, I, I wish people would be more patient with me. Um, so I think I'm more patient with them because it's what I would want to expect. Um, pretty simple. Number five uh, is I think uh, cerebral, cerebral palsy has given me um, a different perspective on life, if you will. Um, I think I can uh, see things a bit differently, uh, come at things a, a bit differently. Um, 
and I think that might go back to the innovation, the adaptation, um, and and yeah. So I guess those are my five things I I've gained from having cerebral palsy. I've I've definitely probably gained more than five, but it's just a condensed list, I guess. Um, and I will say goodbye, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.